Uh, we've got a beautiful day out here in Texas. Mary Beth and Janice are out. We're over here at Taylor's place and they're getting ready to have their first official lesson here. Janice is on Lefty and Mary Beth's on Rio. So this'll this will be fun. I got Flynn here. This is a little three-year-old in like Flynn out of Chick Dreamin's mother. Chick Dreamin's the horse, uh, we called him Skeeter. That's a horse I showed in the first run for a million. Awesome, awesome horse. We'll go out here and go see what Mary Beth and Janice are up to. I'm trying to get Mary Beth and Rio ready for a show in Jacksonville, Florida at the end of February that I want to go to. Never been to it before. Looks great, looks like it's in a great area and they've got a, a big maturity for older horses there that I think will be great for Rio. Okay, Mary Beth, you ready to run some circles? Let's go ahead and run about 15 fast circles. <laughs> okay, I do too. There you go, keep running, good. A little faster now. Really good, really good. There's a little hole you guys probably feel down on that end, it's a little deeper. And then let him slow down all the way to a walk. Good, back him up a little bit. Push that hip back over where it's supposed to be with your right leg. Stop, let him settle, then we'll do it again. Don't, uh, don't throw yourself back so fast when you slow down. Just kind of push that, that left foot forward okay. and hum. And just let him, if he doesn't slow down, if he doesn't read it, we'll just back him up to the middle, we'll do it again. I think Dino looks pretty fresh. Slope straight off. Good. Perfect. Okay, go around one more time. Rio's a little fresh. You guys don't know who Rio is. This is Shiny Work Boots. This is the horse you would have seen him on the last Cowboy Season 1. Uh, we got him from the Schmerzels. And uh, I used him in the first shootout, the Run for a Million, and he qualified me for the second Run for a Million. and back him up. Really good slow down, but you need to sit straight. You kind of turn your shoulders, and then your right leg, push that right leg, move that hip, move that hip. there you go. See, he, he almost, he, he popped out or he came even there. We need to slow down again. Keep that left foot forward. Keep your shoulders square. Slow down, go about two strides, and then turn in. One more time. He slowed down great, but he just, he was flirting with popping out a lead there. Loosen that left rein and go on. Sit square. There, nice. And pat him, really good. Then just back him up to the middle again. Just want to kind of keep reinforcing that that middle's a place where he, he's going to get to stand and rest. That was good me a low purr for just a minute and we'll go the other way. Boy, Dino's feeling it. Doing really good. A little breezy. Horses running around everywhere, loose, which usually kind of gets them all stirred up, and she's staying pretty focused. It's a great sign. Usually, situations like this, how they act, you know, at home is how they're going to act in the show pen.
I love this gag for this time of year. It's just a little soft, medium port in there. There's not much to it. But what I like about it is that you can make some subtle moves that you get pull pressure. As I pull, that whole mouthpiece just slides up and kind of engages and you get pull pressure. But when I was running those fast circles, her head position was pretty good. She just was a little pushy. If I pick up and she was soft, uh, you know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't bother her at all or she wouldn't hit it. But a couple times she just kind of leaned a little bit and I just held my hand steady and she kind of found her own spot. She just kind of figured out how to get away from that pressure and it's no big deal, doesn't get them worried. You saw one time there I went to steer. She just got a little ahead of me, a little pushy and I just kind of held her and she kind of found her own place which she's so good natured. If I just kind of show her where she's supposed to be, she figures out the boundaries pretty good on her own. Starting to get it. It's working on those basics. That's the step one of that turn. It pretty much, that's the foundation of it. I think, you know, that's gonna be, I mean, that's 90% of it right there. If you have one that's got any talent, if you just get them to where they understand, you move your hand, they need to move their feet and keep moving them. If they've got any ability at all, you can almost just stop right there. There's some other things we can add to it, but on these young ones right now, especially I've got I've got the time, I just want to really get that solid in her head that left is left, right is right, and we don't need to get fancy and pulling inside rain and lifting shoulders and withers and all that good stuff. Just real basic, but get real good at it. She stops or walks out, put pressure. The other cool thing about Flynn, she's eligible for the Invitational, which that's that, uh, it's brand new. This will be the second year. It's a breeder's deal um, where there's only certain stallions that are involved. Ryan and Megan Humphrey, uh, I believe they're the ones that started it. I know they're heavily involved, but uh, to this year, last year it was in Virginia. This year it's running concurrent with the Tulsa Reigning Classic. But the exciting thing is it pays 100,000 to the winner. So, I mean, it's easily the, the biggest pre-futurity that we've ever had. And, uh, and it runs concurrent with another futurity that's there. So we'll be running at some big money at the end of August. And there's only a select few that can go. Like I've got Flynn, I've got Preacher, Onion, and Kamikaze. I think we've got four. Um, actually, we might have five and Nash too. Five prospects. So real excited about getting these guys ready for that. Try to win some of that money. Yeah, kind of went to the left just to touch. Looked pretty good though. Get one more on the right lead the other way. That's why he picked that leg up though, because he just had a little more weight on the left because he's leaning. Let's go down about, go about halfway and uh, get him running pretty good and then just pull him in the ground. Real steady, not a jerk, just pull. And he's gonna lean on it. Just keep pulling until you, he backs up a few steps. Then we'll walk to the end and come try it again on the other lead. Nope, catch him out of the blue. Cluck, kick those shoulders. Get him running off. Get him running off. And pull. Pull, 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 pull harder. Good. Now get him running off to the fence again and then just draw him hard. Good. Try to kick the shoulders when you go to drive him forward. All right. Then just walk up to the fence, let him settle, and then come stop on the right lead. Whoa, that was good. I'd probably quit. Neck rain. There. I quit counting. Let's try to do five spins to the left now. Just no matter what, count five. Good. 
Now push that right spur, move the hip back. Right rein, right leg, right rein, right leg. That's for the shut off. Right rein, right. They kind of pick up, pull on the right rein a little more and move that hip around. Yeah. Yep, yep. Now stop and spin five to the right. Come on. Good shot off there. Oh, push that hip back around. Left rein, left leg. Left rein, left leg. Make him move, make him move. Squeeze that spur, make that, make that. There, now stop. Five to the left. Let's see if he gets that shut off. If that hip swings, right rein, right leg. That's better. Right rein, right leg. Right rein, like right leg. Yep. Swing that hip around. Better. <laughs> Good. All right, well, I'm snagging Mary Beth's horse. This is Fuego here. What's his register name? Voodoo's Fuego. Yeah, we got him from Dallas Cunningham. Did a great job. We went like, what was it? North South Dakota, Dakota, South Dakota. Yep, to get him. Yeah, that was a hell of a trip. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm gonna cruise him around now. I kind of snagged him. You did say I could potentially ride him in the qualifier for the run for a million. Yep, if you're really nice to me. All right, <laughs> I'm really nice. Okay, well, I better test him out right to here. see. No allergic, bullshit. Allergic to bullshit. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna test him out. Okay, have fun. So anyway, yeah, feel free. Oh, you're chiming in? Yeah, feel feel free. Feel free to put in the comments what you think, because I can. I think I can show three. I don't know, so then I heard maybe I could show more than three. If they say I can show 10, I'm gonna show 10, but uh, <laughs> let me know, let us know what you think, if you think Fuego is a good contender. I think he is. Mary Beth got him warmed up and ready for me. Let me see. See how he does. Feels pretty good. I think his right hind might be bothering him just a little. I think we should have Joe Carter look at him. Yeah, he feels really good. He's kind of picking the right hind up just a little. Could be the ground needs to be drugged too, but better to have a wellness check and have him say he's fine. Cause he's going to the ground good, but he's not going to the ground like, I mean, I haven't stopped him a whole lot, but even still, you want to cool him out for me? No. Fuego. Well, I think he's definitely, he might need a little seasoning at the Cactus Classic for the Run for a Million qualifier. That's what, uh, that's what Del Hendricks used to do. I used to listen to him tell it to everybody. He'd be like, you know, I think that one just needs to be seasoned for about a year as he'd go out and just show it wide open all year and then hand it over and go, well, I think he's ready to go now. You're trying to take him from Florida too, aren't you? Yeah, I'll show them in Florida. No. You bet. No, you bet I'll show them in Florida. No, whatever you want to do is what we will do. Thanks. <laughs> Run a set of awesome set of circles on this filly. Nobody cares, nobody watching. She just slows down like in two strides. You saw it though, right? I did. Nobody cares. Well, okay. I, I think everyone's looking at Dino <laughs> hauling ass over there. Yeah. Probably wanting to see Karen get on. 